Cisco ASA V VPN, ASA VPN load balance FQDN validation. So I talked about this in the last uh, session that I did around VPN load balancing, but I didn't actually show the results. So this is actually turning on FQDN to client instead of sending back an IP address when you're redirecting. The key element here is that you need to have a reverse lookup zone in order for this to work. Natively, it wants to try to give back the IP address. And what we're saying is ASA first, before you do that, go and grab the actual FQDN instead so I don't get maybe that certificate error that I would otherwise. So all you have to do is check that box. Again, I've already showcased that in the other video. What I wanna do is just highlight that the function is actually working and we're not getting the IP, we're actually getting the uh, domain name or FQDN passed back. So this is the VIP that we're connecting to here. And we do have an address in both zones. I created them anyway in both. Um, so you can see there's that 190 and that's the uh, main VIP IP. And then when you hit that, it'll automatically redirect. And here, there you go. That's the FQDN. So pretty easy, right? No issue there, no certificate errors looks good and again we can connect with the endpoint uh, I'm sorry we can connect to the VPN head end with our any connect client and again we don't seem to get any errors here as well right the goal again is to make sure that you're passing back the FQDN as opposed to the IP address a very basic configuration uh, if we go into monitoring we'll just double check to see what node that this is actually on we come in here, we can see that it's actually, we are load balancing, we have one connection. And very quickly we can see that sales one is connected to this node. So pretty easy stuff, but a simple configuration needed if you're doing VPN load balancing.